Yo, 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 people, this is part two of the family album review from the Purple Underground. Yes, 30th anniversary. Let's get into it. All right, let's continue with the celebration. Uh, you know, we had left off with the great... Nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Great song. Classic. Um, Classic. St. Paul got the better version. Uh, eh, that's debatable. Um... But, Susanna Pajamas. Uh, another instrumental. Um, this is my least favorite track on the album. I don't know. I, I, I think I like Susanna's Pajamas, man. It was actually the B-side to High Fashion. Right, right. right. I mean, yeah. I like it, but I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just okay, you know, for the most part. I think, you know, Eric Lees is a, uh, uh, Performance on the saxophone right. is what stands out on it, you know. But it's uh, it's not a bad track, but I would say it's my least favorite. I don't know. I think it, I like it a whole lot. Okay. You know, I think it's funky. I think Eric Lee's done his thing on that. Yeah. Rip that saxophone, boy. All right. Well, let's go to the the last and final track. Desire. Desire. Now this is a song where uh, St. Paul is uh, expressing his yearning for a woman he has known for a long time. Desire covers our faces. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm yeah, I like this song. I like this song. I'm feeling it. I like this song. Now, I will say there's a version, a version of this song that I also like. It's on a uh, a Prince uh, bootleg, <coughs> uh, but uh, but uh, it was a, a rehearsal. It was like a 1984 rehearsal mm -hmm. that he was he was playing Desire. Right. Uh, it's, it's on the the Purple Rush. I think it's on Purple Rush Four. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying for you know for all the collectors who are familiar with that that title. But yeah, I actually like that version. Rehearsal. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I like this track. That's what's up. Yeah, I like this track. That's what's up, cuz. So, um, all right, well, now that we went through all eight tracks, uh, we're going to go to our, you know, conclusions, our, our final thoughts on the, the project, the album as a whole. So, you know, I'm going to let you go first, man. My, my final <clears throat> thoughts about this album is that it is not only one of the great Prince Associated albums, I think it's one of the greatest albums of all time, like musically, mm. lyrically. Ain't too many things touching it. Well, I take that back. There are some things touching it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, as far as my personal, one of my personal favorites, no. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I will say vocally, I felt like St. Paul did good. I felt like Wendy did, not Wendy, uh, Susanna did good. Mm -hmm. um, I never really could like figure out Jerome's place on the right. album. It right. was like he was just there for show or whatever. Right. You know, uh, you know, Eric Leeds, great saxophone player. Right. You know, Jelly Bean Johnson always did his thing on the drums. Mm -hmm. You know, although, you know what, although they didn't actually play on them, on right. the album, but, you know, each individual, you know what I'm saying, we have seen live play. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, as a group and as a whole, I thought that it worked. Okay. I thought that it worked perfectly, especially the way they did, like, the album cover, which I think Prince took all the pictures for that, for the okay. album. Right. I thought that worked perfectly. And also, with the reunion of the family here in recent years, uh, as F Deluxe, right. they've been touring and doing that thing. You know what I'm saying? I think they actually released the album, too. So I actually still need to check that out. But yeah. I actually have to listen to it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know. and, and a couple years ago, with the Hot Summer disc with Prince, <laughs> you know, I mean, they back to they doing their thing, you know? Right. So... 
I would actually would give this a five turntable classic rating. Mm. This album. Okay. One of the best albums in 1985. Okay. <clears throat> Is that it? That's it. Okay. You, you, you definitely gave a nice testimony on this. That's it, because it's great. It's great. Right. It's great. Okay. It's great. okay. Man, I should let you go last, but <laughs> you know, but it's, go. but it's all good. Um, yeah, my final thoughts on this uh, this album. Uh, I think this is definitely one of the best uh, side projects that Prince has ever produced. Uh, like you said, it's one of the greatest albums of all time. Uh, I don't know if I would say that because there's so many other albums I know I need to listen to. But I, I would say, as far as like in my collection, it, it probably is up there. But definitely, as far as on the Purple Tree, should be. I mean, it, it probably is. You know, it, should be. You know, um, but uh. This is definitely a great project. Uh, what's so, what's so uh, disappointing about it is that um, it got so overlooked because of the lack of promotion, yes. and, you know. And they only did one show, mm -hmm. but but this this album seems to be a very uh, fan favorite. You know, I mean, I mean the album only reached number. 62 on the pop albums chart and 17 on the, the black albums chart or R&B chart and, uh, and I, I guess like by the time the album was released I mean Jerome and Susanna they they went to France with Prince when he was filming uh, Under, Under, the, Under the Cherry Moon, Moon. and St. Paul was back here in the States taking like acting and dancing lessons well, you know from I guess for like a, a future Prince project, so I don't know. It's just you know, it's it's just it's sad. Again, it's like one of them Prince projects that just just kind of faded, really. You and know? I feel if it would have got promoted, it would have been big. I mean, big because you you can't deny the music. Like the music is great. Deny, you can't deny the music. Yeah, the the, the music is great. You know? So I think it would have been big. Yeah. Lack of promotion. Yeah, and all that you know, uh, certain acts, you know, like particularly the family, right. weren't able to like stand on their own, like um, a Sheila E. Yeah, like how her albums were able to stand on their own, and right. she was able to do her thing, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, I mean, just the family just weren't able to do it by themselves. Right, they needed that push, yeah. and they didn't have that push. Right, which in turn, why. St. Paul got mad and split. Right. He dipped out of there. Yeah. And I'm sure he probably got a little, you know, frustrated, you know, because of the lack of right. promotion. And they were, really wasn't doing a lot, you know, with yes, the sir. album. So, and I mean, a song like The Screams of Passion, that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's, that is a killer track. Yes, sir. You know, so, um, as far as my rating goes on this album, out of five, I would give this a. I'm gonna give it a four and a half, out of five. You know. That's respect. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna give this a four and a half. About what I expect. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a that's an excellent rating yes, right there. Is. Yes, that's yes, an excellent rating. Yes. You know. So. Yes. This uh, concludes our review of The Family. Yes. Self-titled album. If you have not heard this album, get it. Go down to your local record store and get it. Get I'm pretty it. sure they got a vinyl copy of that everywhere. Somewhere. You know? Somewhere, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Get it. Uh, I know the CD is pretty rare. It's pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cause I need to get a hold of that. So. Yes, sir. So, anyway, until next time. Our good people, take care. You know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for the next album review. Yes, sir. So this is uh oh you wanna you want me to introduce you wanna go first or you want me to go? 
Do your thing, okay. man. Do your thing, baby. This is uh, Micah, a.k.a. C, capital M to the S. And I'm P. Ross, hashtag Raccoon Hunter. All right. And together we are the Purple Underground. <laughs> the new breed. Peace. Peace.